Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Eterian Odyssey. I am the Orange Genius, but you may, you may call me Eric. And in the last episode, we gave Keenan something worth more, like worth his title, worth his Landsknecht job description, because he's wearing demonic armor right now, and it's 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 black and shiny. It's got skulls on the shoulder pads instead of shoulder pads, actually. It's got all kinds of stuff, it increases his strength, it has a ton of defense, it, it gives him tw plus 20 exp uh, like HP, and it also costs 82,000 credits. And I'm not making this up. The thing was the most expensive thing I have ever seen. We're able to buy another thing that's just as expensive, and we're able to buy another thing that's just as expensive. We made it from Kernunos's mane. It is the Arcana Rod. It gives plus 15 tech. And plus 15 tech is something I want to get my hands on, actually. Because currently I have 60 in total, and tech is directly linked to how good your magic is. So that would increase my healing prowess, I guess, and my, my damage I deal with chuckles. But getting my hands on another 60k money or another 120k, because you know me, is not something I will put you or myself through right now. We're gonna go into the forest, because we haven't done that in a while. And we're gonna go down to the barrens, and we're gonna go down to the 20th floor, because that's where we, well, kinda left off, didn't we? I'm also gonna save down here. Although, we, we just, I, I mean, I literally just loaded up the game, the game is saved. If it weren't, I would have been in a not-so-fun spot, where I had to replay a bunch of stuff. But I'm not, so I'm actually pretty happy right now. Let's get down. Let us get down to the 20th floor. Because, you know, it's quite a ways away. We, we better get on with it, because otherwise we're not gonna get there. It is probably going to take 20 minutes getting down there. Yeah. Yeah, so I better not make any mistakes. And if I don't use enough magic, I do not even have to visit Mr. Restoration Point. That also takes a little bit of time. I'm also banking on Mr. Drazzlebud being back, because that guy gives 5,000 cash, and I like cash. As much as the next one. Don't? Okay, fine. I'm gonna engage in one round of combat here. It's not that bad either. It's just a Golden Deer who's gonna give me a musk because I'm not looking for it. And it's gonna be a saber tooth Tiger. But this guy has nothing to do with Disco Sabertooth Tigering. No, no. You're gonna have to get into my Legend of Grimrock 2 Let's Play for that. There they were called. Disco Sabertooth. And oh man, weren't they discoing all day, every day. Jesus, those guys were into hearing some music that I was not hearing. Those guys were on some kind of drug. I wanna, I would have want to have had part of that, but nope. Was not possible in the end. I still have nine steps of soccer. That was actually only 21 steps on that. <sighs> in that dungeon, huh? I'm sorry for yawning there. It is early in the morning and my coffee has not hit the, you know, spot yet. Coffee hasn't hit the spot. Mantis is is is. Keenan, do you do some extra damage or why did I go through that? You know, if you don't, I really want to know. Uh, 226, fair enough. You better have sto a stellar defense though. You better. 54, I guess. I guess. The demonic armor is something only the Landsknecht can equip, by the way. Fa failed to mention that, but if I wanted to equip that on my protector, I would not be able to. Because he doesn't, he doesn't do this, this black, uh, bl black skull shoulder pad stuff. He's a protector, he's a paladin. He wants to do the right thing. He's also, he also happens to be Catholic. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but he doesn't, he doesn't do the shoulder pads. It's not his style. Do the thunder. No, 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 don't you dare, game, don't you dare. That is the first way to go down and crash. No, 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 no. 
So I guess the game is yawning as well because it's early in the morning or maybe that was my machine but it was actually the game just a second ago so keep that in mind. Game is tired too. Can't do that. There is no big drizzle bud. Well, there's always there's always hope. I I would very much like to gather a couple of resources on this plane because that's probably like well 10,000 I get here just from from gathering right now gathering is actually more like a better than I made it out to be I should have instead of running down and killing mammoths and stalkers and crocodiles to gain a little bit of money I should have just went ahead and gathered a little bit how many how many emery tattoos do I have access to I don't know I don't know It's a problem with Keenan because I even took another 10 TP away from him now that I, I, I unequipped his the Jazzer and armor. Because the Jazzer and armor suit had plus 10 TP on it. Which is good. Which is good. They also had some good defense, but it doesn't have 10 strength and it doesn't have 52 defense. It really doesn't. So that was the criteria that I, you know, th that was the criteria for me throwing that thing away. Then the trash can because mine is better. But 82k, I don't know what they were smoking, but I want some as well. Jesus, that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money for that armor. Like, Shaleka is probably rich and happy right now. She's living the dream over there. Ha, those adventurous suckers, they bought it, huh? That's what she's thinking right now. Which is fair, I'd be in the same situation if I were her. I mean, it is dumb to pay so much for just some random armor. Don't, don't, ow, fun, last tile too. If you don't remember, I made that armor out of an evil shell. And, you know, evil shells are just known to be very expensive. Didn't even get that much money for that evil shell, but what I got a lot of money for, or what I got a lot of, a lot of money taken away from me for, is buying that armor. Can't get over that, I can't. I, I had to grind for 50 minutes to get another 20,000 to be able to afford that thing. Oh well. The quickest part of the grinding really was dealing with the mammoths. After that, running down, running around is not the thing that earns you money. Okay, now we have to think, because I would rather not take an unoptimal route. The mo most optimal route is... Eh, that's a dead end. Okay, fi fine. I have Stalker activated! How can you appear this much? That is madness, birds. That is madness, Mr. Bird. Um, by the way, on the 20th floor, there's a lot of foes around. And this time we're not gonna fool around with just random Cruellas and Ogres and, and Hunters. We're just gonna take them out one by one and we're gonna go damage all out. Because that was abysmal last time. Getting locked in fights with three at a time? No, that's not happening. Like, why would I do that if I can just easily take care of one at a time? That was a misplay on my part and we're gonna... Re we're gonna redo that whole thing. Because that can be a lot easier. That can be a lot, lot easier and more resource, uh, or less resource intense. We're not gonna be able to do anything here. These guys are gonna stay alive. All except for that one. Oh, my nose is itchy. <coughs> I'm sorry for sneezing there. That's what happens when I'm, my nose itches. Are you really gonna defend? No, you're not. I guess I have gotten a little sick, haven't I? I have gotten a little sick. This will be my first time during a Let's Play using a... What would you call that? Uh, 
See? That's that's why. The first time blowing my nose is the thing. Okay. Give it show it the business, please. I'm totally gonna forget cutting that out too, that's why I don't even bother. I could write it down, but I'm totally gonna forget because I still have not created the backdrop of this. I know, 110 episodes in, you'd expect I have put a little more work into it than, than the 110 episodes, but nope. Nope. I just, I just did this, I just sat here, that's the only thing I did. I've just played a bit. Okay, I shouldn't call it a bit, I, I have just played a bunch. Apart from that, not so much. No thumbnail, no backdrop, but that's just because um, Magical Star Sign is still running for another probably more than two weeks. And I don't have anything, you know, pressurizing me into getting this done. Procrastination is a horrible thing. It is a horrible thing. Nice one. By the way, the special armor for just Barricus would give him another 11 agility uh, on top of his 82 agility. That would be kind of weird, right? Why have I equipped flame boots with you? That's another 80... Why? Why do you have flame boots? That's another 11 agility. You don't need that much agility. Agility has gotten you killed in the past. Because your your multi-hit was happening before my refresh got through. Then again, I could change that by making the refresh a little faster, but then I, in the end, my refresh hits before the enemy does his stuff. That's also not good. That's also not what is intended. It's a difficult situation. Through and through. Okay, preemptive strike. I'm not gonna even bother. I'm not going to even bother. When we are still earning good experience doing this, I do not need to escape these fights. And we can take them. We can take these fights. There is no problem with that. Oh, Barracus, you are not allowed to attack first there. Okay, should have remembered that, but I didn't. My brain did not short-circuit that. Those guys are resistant against arrow damage. Bow damage, I guess. Eric levels up. Always nice to see that's going to be put into itself one again. Not that that does anything for me. Ah, that unlocks Immunize. Good. So we are at that point. We are at that point. And Immunize is going to be good because it raises my resistance. It's going to be very convenient. We're going to take the bot or the, the top route, actually. Because that is shorter. No, it's not. What am I even talking about? What am I talking about, I wonder? Do 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 do. That was the thing, the bottom route was actually longer. And by me going back and around, I'm probably I probably have stepped over too many tiles by now. I probably am safer or I'm probably more quick going the top route there. Alas, I am going the other route. Man, that, that activation bubble is so, so quickly filled. That is incredible. The red beak is probably resisting against fire. We'll find out right now. We will. Absolutely resisting against fire. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Do, 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 do. So they were actually weak against Thunder. We're still missing a drop from, from Cruella, we're still missing a drop from Diabolics, we're still missing a drop from Ogre, and we're still missing a drop from Hunter. And I'd really enjoy them, but they're probably just going to unlock more expensive stuff, and I can't afford expensive stuff. You know that full well. 
preemptive attack is huge here because this is a bunch this this is a bunch of scrubs who are actually stronger than they look do i need to use i need to use self don't i or i could boost that tornado i could boost that tornado i will boost that tornado because that boosted tornado will take out all those warriors and i'm not going to need to heal right now and you can fire up as well These guys are actually pretty quick on their feet. Oh, why? Dude, Barricus should be faster than one of these guys. Arbuckle, hopefully, as well. Uh, I'm gonna use a self one. That doesn't do anything. That's only 40. It's not worth. Fine. Barricus was faster, but Arbuckle and Keenan are also faster than a warrior. Those guys are scary because they have a very strong attack. And if there's three of them, you know, they can one-shot a dude if they all focus on him. Ice shot, not nice. Not a nice shot. Don't escape. Do not escape from this battle. Please, don't escape. Okay, good. Barricus levels up to 55. Let's make that happen. He already has disabled at level 5, too. Yeah. So what am I going for? Leveling up quick and ha. Good joke. A little bit in my economy, huh? Invest in economy a little bit. I guess taking... Uses per day success rate, even for level 5. Even for level 5, it doesn't do anything special. Fair enough. Could have given me the upper hand in combat, but nope, it's just gathering. I should use another, I should use stalker at least once. I'm not doing myself any favors in this, in this region. Because these enemies are actually really potent, and I, I'm not... Not, I, I don't want to fight them all. We are going to have to go against even stronger foes in a second, so don't. Please just don't. Don't want to. I don't want to spend all my TP. Not yet. The only people not spending TP are Chuckles and Eric. And Eric because he has enough TP regeneration to be, to be able to afford a single... A single self too because we are taking so many so much time in combat here but the other ones I want my TP because I want I do not want to use Amrita 2s again okay these protectors aren't back yet and you guys did they really start out in those locations did they really Okay, fair enough. You home in on me right now, Cruella. Am I going for max damage output, am I? These are a lot of enemies and I have a strong, this strong suspicion that a couple of them respawned. That is a big bummer. We go. Does anyone aggro here? I mean, there were three down here before, right? We drew drew another three. Maybe they just scattered from the very get go. That could be it. No one was confused, or was that my conf the her confusion attack? Okay, we can do one more of this caliber, and then she's going to be oh, visiting Nirvana. If she lives through it, I'm going to Toxify her again, but that doesn't do much. And of course she does not live. Red string, no strings attached. No strings attached to that relationship. 
Also, do not neglect to draw your map, because that's important business. Uh, I'm gonna let myself get chased a bit. Just a bit, though. Because my map drawing has not been conceived that well. It is convenient that there's nearly no enemies around, though. Except for the foes, of course. Uh, where? Why did you aggro back there? I wonder. You're an ogre? No, oh, you're diabolics and preemptive. Nice. How'd Eric get hurt? How did Eric get hurt? 3,200 is what they have in terms of health. 3,200. Do I do a calculation to get her with poisoning? Nah, that's too much. Too, too much of a hassle for nothing to come out. And it's a bad joke. Because that's not gonna be what I'm after. It's just a waste of my time. And we have tried all. Fire, ice, and thunder, huh? I'm gonna just gonna give up in terms of that. That is not worth. You saw what happened last time when I tried it. I almost got murdered. I don't want to waste resources. I want to get these guys deaded. And you have to admit that was a big waste of resources trying to get her poisoned. Wag road? Two up there. Dangerous. It dangerous, so dangerous. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm, I already did. You're right. There is an enemy. They saw me. Uh oh. We are not far apart. We are not. Okay, I have five turns to take care of you, Hunter. Another Diabolics. Eh. The sad thing is, she's actually pretty fast, so I can't use multi-hit with Barrick. Like, I want to use multi-hit with Barricus, but Barricus' multi-hit can just lead with him being dead. So Palan would be the thing wor worth the most, but we don't want to do... We could have this be a two-turn fight, but we could also have this be a very difficult battle. Looks like a two-turn fight, though. Gotta be honest. Very much looks like a two-turn fight. Let's use refresh. <clears throat> These guys are moving in to flank me, aren't they? Well then I should I should probably engage in a tactical move as well. If they are on a half height, I'm gonna be going up. So if this is an ogre, ogres are pretty tough to deal with. In terms of um in terms of health lost or or TP usage. So I'd rather like to Nah, nah. There what are you doing? Yeah, they're splitting up. Okay. Okay. So they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 tiles apart right now. This is going to go down to 9 tiles apart. And another Diabolics! Was there some kind of box of you guys? I mean, if there was, it was a very hot box, but still. How could how could you all be get unleashed on me? How? I wonder. Multi-hit is the best thing I ever happen let that ever happen to me though. Two turn diabolics fights. I these are all opportunities, by the way, to get that third drop, but nope. I'm ignoring it. I wonder what to do. I wonder. Is it really just a special melee attack? Is it actually poisoning? I don't want to believe that. I don't. 
But if it were poisoning, I'd be... I'm not, I'm not, you know... Kinda... Nah, 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 nah. Greed is strong with me, but not today. Not today. I've gotta keep myself... Like, my new... It's the 26th... Uh, 26th of a... Shit. That's not good. That's not good. Miss, 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 miss. No, that's a hit. Maricus is dead. You were too fast. You were too fast. Okay, Barakis. You didn't deserve to die. You did anyways. What I wanted to say, though, what I wanted to say was um, for the next year, I'm going to try to get myself a little under control to keep all my, you know, every time I want something, I'm going to, to stop myself and think, do I really need that? And is that really a good idea? And do I really need to do this? Because self-control is something that's actually pretty important if you go about your life. And I think that is a very good way to start. Start with what? I don't know. I guess keeping everything in order. Okay. Who are you? Another Diabolics. Oh, for once this is an ogre. So we engage the ogre last. Let's provoke him. Because Keen and uh, Co are not looking so hot. I can actually use a health cry because we are not using anything else right now. Self is not that good. Uh, if I boost the self though, it's gonna be good enough. You can normally... No, you can't. You can use a trickery for three. You can afford that and then we'll use Volt. You increase your strength, and it's cool, but if you don't end up doing anything, that's fine as well. You just provoked, and now you will parry. Nah, you probably won't get attacked, and you will normally attack as well. I think we're fine, I think we are fine. What was this guy's attack if he uses... Yeah, oh my goody gumdrops, that's a lot. It's more than last time. Should have raised my own defense, huh? Turns out raising your own defense is pretty good. But okay, Keenan's Hellcry does lower his defense by a fair margin. I'll try that again, but if I don't heal up Keenan, he's going to be, he's going to not be in a good spot. But if Keenan gets attacked, which is not happening because this ogre is slow. Hmm. Hmm. Do I wait for the revival then? Nah, we provoked the guy though. We provoked the guy. Don't want to use self too. I don't. We've got to fight a ton more enemies. That's another ogre up there. Fair enough. Keenan, this is all you. This is all you. You're a big bad waste. Okay, that was faster than my attack then. I hope that defender was worthwhile. Okay, you normally attack. We are nearly doing nothing to him. Okay, fair enough. Let's put out, pull out the big guns, the bigger guns. Not that there's any guns to talk about here. You don't have special attacks. I wonder what disable does if it hits. You can use a thunder here. It's a thousand damage per turn, as far as I remember. Oh, his legs have been sealed. I wonder if that, you know, bothers him. Thunder does 400, and the Shocker with the Hellcry activated does 600. Nice. Nice. And with that armor, he does even more. That guy up there is not happy, but he's not getting anywhere near in time. You're bound? Your, your legs are bound. Okay. Do I do that again? That is a big usage of TP, though. For a thousand damage. Well. Going up to the restoration point is not an option. Oh, 
Ogre attacks Arbuckle for 45 damage is not a lot. That is some hell. That is some really, really nice damage. I want that again. Gonna use self 2 this time. Sixty-six damage to Keenan. His evil cry wore off and our defense up is actually stronger than you'd expect. Switch to the normal attacks because we're using too much. Down to 35 TP is Keenan. Nice crits though. I didn't want to use too much with Barracus either, because his um, multi-hit is important against the Hunters. The, the Apollon too, but I'd rather use the multi-hit, honestly. Can you drop your evil shells, though? That is kind of important, buddy. Kind of. Just saying. Just saying, I really would like evil shells. Really would. What is this? So this was a 2x2 two two area over here. Doom. Doo -doom. Aren't the warriors coming? They weren't they wanted to. One was red. Are you coming? What happened to him? When did the guy in the middle move? When did the bird move? Who is the bird? Who is the bird? That's a problem. That is a problem. When I went to the 20th floor first, we had a little talk with our humanoid little girl. And she told us, our strongest warriors, if you can beat our strongest warriors and our guardian bird, you're still not going to get anywhere because your own people are going against you. Why do you, adv you advance into the forest? Well, because this is, this is a let's play and I have to. I have nothing else to do except for advance into the forest. That's why, girl. But she doesn't want to hear that. She just lives in her own world and you know how it is. But that said guardian bird was standing in the middle of the map, not moving an inch. I'm confused. I am confuddled. Alright, but before we continue onwards, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye!